Hi, my name is Mike Akwahori. This is the Engineering Student Design Center. This is an instructional lab and also an open lab for students to use. We have about 500 students that come through here every year and a trademark of the shop is the gyroscope. For the past 40 years, the students have been fabricating and building the gyroscopes on the lathes, the mills, and the drill presses in the shop. The mechanical engineering student has to be able to build and fabricate a gyroscope that can spin for at least two minutes so that they can pass the class. And this actually is a project that has been borrowed by several other universities across the country. These are our basic hands-on machine tools. Now let's go look at more advanced machine tools. This is Victor here. He's going to be graduating this year. He's going to introduce the ferrule arm. This technology here is very new to universities and very few students get to use this. The ferrule arm allows for touch probe scanning and blue light laser scanning. The laser allows us to scan complex geometries that would be really hard to do with a touch probe. This technology is really new and it's very exciting to be able to use. This is my favorite machine and I really hope to use it in industry. To be a complete shop, we have a welding and fabrication area. This is a very popular place for our students on our capstone projects and our race car team. Here you can see we have our Baja Doom buggy. Hey Brad. Students design and build race cars like this to participate in their annual competitions. Here we're going to go into our more advanced manufacturing equipment. These are going to be our DMG Mori lathes, three axis mill and five axis mill. Sean Malone here, our development engineer, is going to show you more about the three axis mill. Thanks, Mike. Here we have a biomedical engineering project. I'm holding the base of this microscope that is used with the cell phone. Behind me is our three axis mill. You're going to see a demonstration of roughing out this pocket. Machines like these are used in the industry with companies like Apple, Tesla, and many others to make high quality precision parts. After students graduate, they can go out into industry and use machines like these to help with prototypes and help the company start up production runs. Here at the back of the shop, we add an electronics room. So right now, I have Katie here. She's going to talk more about the 3D printers. So here we have our rapid prototyping machines. Uh, the way these work is there's a small motor on the back of the machine that pushes a plastic filament through and creates a part layer by layer. You can see one of the machines here is building up a small model of a wind turbine. This is actually really exciting for me. I'm hoping to enter the energy industry once I graduate next year. And it's really great being able to get hands-on experience building these small prototypes um, for work that I hope I'll eventually be doing in the future. 3D printing has a ton of exciting applications in other areas like medicine. This is Ryan, a second year mechanical engineering student, and he's been using 3D printing for really great use. So I've been 3D printing parts for a mechanical hand that was meant for people who were born without upper limbs. And here I have the Raptor Reloaded hand, which is wrist powered. So when you bend your wrist, it performs a basic grabbing motion. So people with this device could perform basic household activities they weren't able to perform before, such as sweeping and opening doorknobs. So now you've seen all the exciting things we have going on here. Right now, we are at 9,000 square feet. We're going to double our space, and we're going to invite the Student Startup Center to join us and create a makerspace. With this expansion, we really feel that this would be a place to, for the engineering students to bring their ideas to life. 